all right so I uploaded two short videos earlier of um, us working out at the gym I had to kind of I just wanted to make sure that was running. Okay, I had to kind of do it on the down low because uh, there were a lot of people in the gym today. I didn't expect that many people to be in there. But I just wanted to show you, you know, uh, where we go in the gym. And we worked out in that area. And then we went in the back in the ladies portion of it and we worked out a little bit back there. Um, just want to give an update on my progress. As I said when I first started doing this, you know, you always see like before and after. Oh, I weighed 400 pounds and now I weigh 100 pounds. And you wonder, well, what did this person go through during this transformation, you know, um... Did they have any ups and downs? Did they have any problems? Well, I have to say, after about, um, I guess we're at day 12 now, or thereabouts, um, I got on the scale. I actually gained 2 pounds. So now the scale is saying 250. Which, for me, is expected because I have been doing a lot of working out. Whatever little bit of muscle that I am building, you know, uh, muscle weighs a little bit. So it's going to add a little weight to the skill. So I'm not overly concerned about two pounds. Um, my measurements have changed slightly, you know. Um, the only thing that I see different is I lost one inch off my butt. So, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of it being 49, it's 48. Wow. <laughs> um, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. It's a long process. I promised myself a year to try to get this process done. As you can see, I'm serious about it because we do go and we do work out um, as far as what we're eating is... Um, not a lot of food. Uh, t it's about 2 o'clock, I guess. And I, I didn't have breakfast this morning. I don't recommend that for anybody to go without eating breakfast. But the reason why I didn't have breakfast is because um, I don't like to eat before I go to the gym. And then after I left the gym, I did some running around. So... But actually, when I go home, I'm getting ready to have a baked potato. Um, I don't know what's on it. I, I guess broccoli, cheese, you know. Um, I think there's some chili on it. Um, I have a little sour cream to go with it. And that's going to be my lunch for today. Uh, my brunch for today. A little late, my brunch for today. And, um... I'm not sure what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. Tonight I may just do a smoothie. I've got some nice frozen raspberries and some peaches. And a uh, half a banana that I'll probably make a nice smoothie. And, you know, I may have a piece of uh, a lean meat or something with that. Um, and, of course, my, um, my Garcinia Cambogia. It's, a, uh, it's an up and down battle. Um... And, you know, so many people saying, oh, well, I lost, you know, 55 pounds in two months. And <laughs> you're looking at that going, yeah, okay. Which, I'm not disputing anybody's claims. I'm not disputing anybody's claims. But, in reality, you are sitting wondering, well, okay, you lost 55 pounds in three months. But didn't you have days where you were like, okay, I've had enough of this. I don't want to do this anymore. And I'm trying to keep you motivated. And I'm trying to keep myself motivated. Because really what that reads on the scale is irrelevant to me right now. Um, it really is because eventually that weight will come off. It's going to take, it's going to take time. As I said, I'm 52, so for me, it's going to be a lot harder. And maybe there's not a lot of videos out there with 
of someone older trying to to lose the weight um tomorrow's another day i don't have to reevaluate what i'm eating i'm staying within my uh carbon calorie count so what i'm eating has nothing to do with it i wouldn't want to push myself any lower than a 900 to 1200 calorie a day diet um the key to it is more exercise more exercise i did some stretching today with the ball at the gym and um the rower uh, pulled down you know um gosh you did the bicycle uh incumbent bike uh, reclining bike uh elliptical did a little bit of everything we had a good workout today um so i just want to check in and tell you my progress uh you know 10 12 days into this come on yeah i've got 300 and you know 50 some odd days left and i will chug forward and i will do this and in the end i'll be able to go back to my day one video and go oh my god <laughs> look how much progress you know she's made um, I have to say for the next, over the weekend, but starting Monday, um, I'm going to want to try to get a little more intense with my exercise. Uh, maybe a little more frequency with it and a little more repetitions or what have you. And it's just, you know, I hopefully will realize some weight gain within the next two weeks that's my goal you know i set short-term goals for myself but realistic goals if i can lose five pounds you know between now and in that two weeks that'd be great if i lose three pounds that'd be great but i want to lose something i don't want to come back and tell you well hell i gained another five pounds <laughs> i don't want that for myself so i hope you're having a great day um today's friday so i don't know what you do on friday maybe you're going out to party or you're going out to dinner or you're going out you know for drinks with friends or you're going to catch a movie but what i can say is when you do go out there you know you're going to a movie please don't get the extra large popcorn get the small tell them don't put any butter on your popcorn um you're going to the buffet there's nothing wrong with going to the buffet hey stay away from uh the bad stuff on the buffet you know what it is get you some vegetables you go to the chinese buffet the chinese buffet has some wonderful stir fried vegetables um i like when i go to the hibachi bar and what i give them on my dishes i give them two eggs um, some broccoli, uh, snow peas, uh, bean sprouts, you know, and some lean, um, chicken, beef, and pork, and, you know, I'm good. I don't get the soda when I go there. I get unsweet tea or I get water. Um, you go into McDonald's over the weekend, you know, as I said before, stay away from that jumbo combo, you know, just double cheeseburger and a water and a cone that's what i got the other day um if you're cooking at home i i ate my daughter made uh spaghetti and she made uh some nice uh ribs in the crock pot she made them in the crock pot she made corn and uh, when i got the plate from her i had a i had a just a small plate this size not the just a small size plate and no it wasn't piled up to the top it was it was low it was a, it was a small amount of food um and i had made myself a lean piece of steak with that i didn't have the ribs uh big daddy had the ribs i made myself a lean piece of steak with that she made corn on the cob with it he had corn i didn't have corn with mine and you know i want to say I had two slices of garlic bread, 
with that meal uh, read the carb count on the garlic bread one slice is 12 grams of carbs which I'm thinking well this is great so I had two slices it's 24 grams of carbs and maybe if there was 10 grams of carbs in the pasta because there's no carbs in the meat and 30 grams of carbs at that dinner meal is not bad you know I allow myself 30 to 50 grams of carbs at that dinner meal so hashtag GB transformation that's hashtag GB T R A N S F O R M A T I O N I've uh, got three videos that I uploaded today two sneaky videos at the gym <laughs> and uh, this this video right here this is just the motivation it's a motivation to say you can do it you can do it you can do it let's get things popping have a wonderful, wonderful day.